Hey bitches, it's Nick Snyder and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I am going to discuss James Charles reconnecting with the Seattle waiter Samuel Cook once again. If you have not already seen my previous video about James Charles copying Antonio Garza as well as Patrick Star shading Beautycon, I am going to place a card in the upper right hand corner as well as a link down in the description. If this is your first time on my channel, hello, welcome, how are you doing? If you could please hit the subscribe button down below, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you are someone who has been here for a day, a week, a month, or a year, welcome back. If you could please make sure you have all of your notifications set to on by clicking the bell icon somewhere on the screen. Please know that everything I speak on in my videos is my own personal opinion and opinions are not facts and please do not send hate to anyone or any brand that I speak on in my videos because that is not what these are meant for. They meant for us to throw a little shade, spill a little tea, and have a messy time here on the internet. Okay everyone it is time for another giveaway. As you can see in front of me I have two sets of the Morphe and Jeffree Star collaboration part two. I'm going to be giving away this to two lucky winners and the rules are very simple. You just have to be subscribed to this channel and you have to subscribe subscribe to my second channel, which I'm going to be doing my car vlogs and my rants on because I know that you guys just want me to get to the point in videos here, but I have some other things that I would like to say, maybe like rant wise on my other channel. So please subscribe to that channel as well as this channel and just comment down below that you did that. I'm going to run this giveaway until next Sunday, which is the 24th, I believe. I will check the date. I will definitely put that down in the description, but good luck everyone and let's get in the video. Before I go any further in this video, I do want to apologize for the microphone quality because I am traveling with my microphone and somehow I was just laying next to it and not even touching it and the cord decided to break. So I am going to go to the store tomorrow and pick that up. But James Charles is once again shocking everyone because he has been spotted on Instagram with Samuel Cook, who is the waiter from Seattle. Hmm. I can't imagine why James Charles would be hanging out with the waiter from Seattle who took part in what James Charles describes as people trying to ruin his life. As you can see by the photo on the screen, Samuel Cook is in James Charles' backyard because you guys are probably like, Nick, why do you know this is James Charles' backyard? Well, back when James Charles did his empty house tour in 2018, he actually included a clip in his backyard, as you can see by the photo, and you're going to see this clip on the screen right now. He still has not fixed that dead grass that is in the backyard, but that is the exact same pool, exact same bushes, and exact same wall, as well as little itty-bitty palm trees. Hmm. Y'all, I am so sorry if you hear me trying to hold back a laugh, because honestly, at this point, is there anything that James Charles does that you are not shocked by? Like, why is James Charles with Samuel Cook, who is the waiter from Seattle, who took part in, quote-unquote, trying to ruin James Charles' life, that got on camera looking like a deer in headlights, saying that James Charles was rude to him, rented this hotel room, and basically was a sloppy kisser and made him feel a certain type of way? Why is Samuel Cook with him, other than the fact that maybe we've all been duped? Another thing that I'm actually really confused by is Keemstar tweeted out earlier, I want to interview at James Charles and get a good convo about the things that happened in May, and how he feels about everything now. I think that would be a good video. Thoughts? And James Charles responded with, Love you, Keem, but I don't want to relive it again, again, and again. I'm moving on and working on my happiness. Well, if that was true, don't you think that you wouldn't invite the person that participated in outing you in certain situations online for millions upon millions of people to see? Hmm. You know, during that whole situation where the waiter sat down on video, not once, but twice, uh, in the first video, I thought that he looked like a deer in headlights. Like, he was very nervous. He didn't know exactly how to work the camera. Yeah, he made the joke about James Charles using too much, like, spit, and he was a sloppy kisser. But then in the second video, when he uploaded it and detailed more for everyone, I kind of got the feeling, in my opinion, this is just my opinion before people try to come for me, that the kid might have been contacted by an attorney and was a little scared that he was going to get sued. And according to James Charles, this kid had nothing at all. But then all of a sudden, like, popped up with a Mercedes, which didn't really make sense to me at all. Yeah, so I guess on this one, I'm just a little confused as to why all that went down. James Charles wants to move on with his life and not pay attention to anyone, basically, that was involved in that entire situation, but he has invited Sam Cook over to his house to sit in his backyard by his dead grass pile and just hang out and allow him to do snapchats and instagrams and all that unless james just wanted to get all of us talking because maybe it's a slow drama month for him you know that james charles has said that when he has things coming out he likes having drama because it helps sell items now personally i mean we have a james charles drama every single day i mean we're just coming out of him copying someone to get brad mondo's attention i'm going to talk more in detail in like tomorrow with rich lux about that because that's just like girl <laughs> 
that's a thirst trap. So what is your opinion? Do you think that James Charles is trying to get everyone talking by inviting Sam Cooke over to his house? Do you think that Sam Cooke and James Charles are going to sit down on video and it's going to be James Charles confronting Sam Cooke about the whole entire situation? Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. And now let's check out this clip. So I'm sitting here with the fabulous Teresa Romer and we are in her closet. As you can see, all these fabulous Birkins behind me right now. Always. It's such a collection. I love <laughs> Hermes. It's like one of my favorite things. So James Charles... I know oh, you have platinum Lord. hair, obviously. Mm -hmm. And I saw on Instagram that you just, you were looking for someone new that specialized in it. James Charles apparently does not have that hookup for you. <laughs> because he, Apparently, wasn't he doing it himself? Yeah, but you know, he was doing it to try to get the attention of this Brad Mondo guy who does hair, does reaction videos. Stole the idea from someone because not an original thought in his head. But if you're James Charles mm -hmm. and you have James Charles money, and you have James Car Charles connections, like, why would you do it yourself? You. Like, celebrity well, Do you think I would touch myself? Like, do you think I would touch this? Oh, I would this? never. I would never. No. I would never. You can, like, really Look ruin your hair. Ooh, it's orange. That is bad. <laughs> that is it's bad. It's orange. It's orange. Ooh. I don't know. Like, you know, I remember being in high school and being like, okay, I can't afford to go get my hair done. And I would do it myself. And let me tell you, it always looked like shit. But you weren't a celebrity then, were you? No, I was not. <laughs> no, I was not. Not at the tender age of so, 14. So once you're a celebrity, why would you do that? With the oh, celebrity try, connections. Try for views, and then like as soon as you're done with the camera, shut it off, and then have the professional person fix it? But you know what really bothers me about James Charles? Is that he does have those connections. Of course. And so he likes to stunt and go on Instagram lives. Like he just did it earlier today. I'll put the screenshot up right here. Going into Cardi B's thing saying, oh my God, sis, like really check your DMs, please. He wants people to know that he has these connections and that people mm -hmm. want to talk to him apparently. But I don't, why do you think that James Charles is always like fishing for subscribers to give him ideas for videos? Do you think he... Because I think this past year he... Lost Ooh, it. Yeah. I'll say he doesn't have a future for anymore right. to give him those ideas. And who was his girl? Tati? Tati. Mm. Tati, who apparently put him on. Yeah. And so, now he's telling no one to talk about that. He wants right. dead in the water. He's trying right. to get over it. Well, don't you think there was lawyers, lawyers behind that, though? The cease and desist? I mean, like, I think so. That's my take on it. I think that YouTube was a little bit more mad about it. Because you know he's buddy-buddy with Susan, who's yeah. the CEO. Yeah, So I think that she was probably like, put the... Fault in it, you guys but I'm just saying, there comes a point where it hurts your business mm -hmm. enough to where lawyers have to step in and go, okay, now these, you know, cease and desist because now you're he, he's losing money. He loves to threaten lawyers. Mm. He loves a lawyer, girl. Mm. But more exciting news, other than Rich Lux's collab. I know, here don't with you just love this? Oh my smells god, smells so freaking good. <sighs> it's like I want to eat my face <laughs> off, right? You know, spray a little in the nether region. Someone's going to eat something. Hey, hey, hey. So, Cross spray next. No, we were on the way over here, and I was like, fuck, I don't have, like, any, like, fragrance with me. And I literally took one of these, and I was like, S -s 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 -s. Oh. I was like, I hope Teresa doesn't mind, like, spraying myself in the back of Richard's You walk in like a dream sickle. Yeah, I was like, this will work, right? But you just hit 100,000 subscribers. Oh, my God. And I Can know you how bad that? you wanted it. Can you believe that? It's, it's amazing. Like, uh, I know how bad you wanted I'm it. I'm so competitive. And you did it with no drama. No drama. No drama at all, which is unheard of. No, just my life. Unheard of. My and life. people are sticking around. You're still growing. Yeah. It's not like you hit it, because they say 100,000 can be like kind of cursed, because mm -hmm. some people hit it, people will come for them, they'll drop. Not you. I'm, you are I'm, here and I'm you are going. I'm 100,000 plus now. Like, I know. I like know. Like 100,000, like maybe 500. I don't know. Exactly. Some, I don't know. No, by the time I leave here, we're going to be at 200000 That's why we're keep doing those giveaways, girl. Yeah, because um, of Nick. Yes, yes. yes. But, no, I owe it all to you and you and Rich. Seriously. I no, mean, like, but, no, but I think that's what, you know, when friends help friends, mm. you know, that's just it. I mean, like, we help each other out. Mm -hmm. And so I am so internally grateful to you and Rich, like, because we are friends and we are, we do hang out and we do try to collaborate and help each other, like... And now I'm moving here, so therefore yes, we will have many more yes, collaborations yes, for yes, everyone. Yes, 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 I think yes. that you need. I was telling people on a live stream the other day. I think that because you, the gym is like home to you. Oh, and so I home. love a couch. <laughs> I love a couch. I love eating fast food and all that. If you kicked my ass and riches in the gym, oh, I would love video, that. Kicking that the would drama be channels so asses. funny, right? So when you texted me and said you were gonna come out today, mm -hmm. I'm like. Um, I just started my workout. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's like, what time are you saying? Because I just got to the gym. I like, just got, okay. uh, well, my gym's upstairs in my oh, house. They... Well, so, uh, but I literally had just got upstairs and was mm -hmm. starting my workout. And he said, oh, we're coming out. And I'm like, oh, they're going to ruin my workout. Mm -hmm. uh, like, let me get on the treadmill real quick. Go, like, whatever. <laughs> but, but I still got my workout and you came late. So it, it was all good. But no, that's my home. Yeah, no. So, hey, there you go. That'll be a good competition thing, right? 
See who falls first, Nick or Rich? That would be me. Mm. Um, <laughs> that is setting mm. myself up for failure, but who's, I'm totally here for it. Who says uncle first? <gasps> mm. In what sense? Because you know, <laughs> <laughs> we're all about speaking. I didn't say daddy. Uh, <laughs> she knows me I well. Said uncle. <laughs> So what is your next goal on YouTube? Are you going for like 200,000, 500,000, a million? Well, of course you have to probably, you know, it's just like in a business sense, you have mm -hmm. to like have a five year goal. So, you know, what do you want to do in the first year? What do you want to do in the second year? What do you want to, you know? So of course I should probably say my next goal is 200,000, yeah. but not really. Cause I'm, I'd like to shoot for the million. You have a long term. How long do you think it's going to take? Cause I know that you were saying like by July, you were going to get to a hundred thousand and you were just like a few weeks like shy of that. I, I just missed it by, 15 days, mm -hmm. Damn. literally. So, that is proof, you put something into the universe, you can make it happen. I, I just missed it by two weeks. Ask so, I don't know, I was like texting with my editor in LA today and he's like, I, I think you can be at a million by next year, Teresa. Shit. Well, take us with you, because I would like to get there and as hey, well. And hey, you know, Shem, he, mm -hmm. he, he edits for some of the biggest people in LA, so for him to throw that out there, I was like, okay, Damn. I'll take that one, let's, let's go for it. Well, I cannot wait to see you grow and thrive in that, because I know you love you too. But like I said, it takes teamwork to make the dream work. Of course, of course. And we're all a team. Rich, exactly. Teresa, oh look! Oh, look, the fairy, the fairy godmother. <laughs> <laughs> Did Louis Vuitton deliver these look, themselves? Look, <laughs> Woo! We still have the giveaway going on. <gasps> you do? Yes. What are you giving away Yes, now? so we are giving away two Louis Vuittons. Like, yes. um, I think this is, I think this is the grand prize. The smaller one is the grand prize, because okay. it's, something really special and the bigger one is runner up yes. and we are picking these winners tonight tonight monday night monday night <gasps> i need to go enter that's it can i win tonight <laughs> we still have a few more minutes <laughs> oh my god that is so good well they're gonna get a double giveaway because so they gotta go to my well. they gotta go to my instagram and spam the hell out of me which i will link yep. down below for everyone as well yes. as her channel go subscribe yes. if you're not already yes. you don't know what you, you know every saying. month <laughs> Teresa romer's channel does giveaways so this month is louis vuitton and last, always, last month was gucci they're always designer yep I'm about to make some fake accounts and start doing fake videos. Like, I'm going to spam the shit out of it. I'm going to be like, oh, no, nope, not me. I swear it's not my address you're shipping it to. So, guys. Uh, yeah, I contact you. Go, okay, what address? Mm. You're like, I've been to that building before. It's so weird. It's so weird. So, guys, definitely go check out Teresa Romer. All of her information is down below. You will not regret it at all. Are you doing an unveiling of your plaque? How are you gonna do it? You're gonna get framed? Yes, we need to, we like need to do a party, don't you think? Oh yes, mm. something like very dramatic, mm. like the plaque gets like wheeled out. Yes. That would be good. How cool would that be? That would be good. So guys, check her out down below. It's all for information. Go into her giveaway, because I mean, yes. hello, it's Louis fucking mm. Vuitton. <laughs> so I love you bitches, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Yes, bye-bye.